So, today it's time to introduce the new project. We will build a swivel breech rifle. So, here you can see nice examples. That's a uh, American tradition swivel breech rifle with a long barrel and for sure a pistol of the same tradition. I will show you uh, uh, up here an uh, example for a Germanic swivel breech rifle from 1750. That should be more or less our guideline, how it should look at the end. So here you can see the mechanism we will rebuild. We have one hammer and two frizzens and pans and a swiveling plate so we can rotate the over under barrel this way. The lever you can see here on the picture will be the release, uh, will release the barrels to move. That means when you push the lever a pin will be pulled out and then you can rotate the barrel. So you have two shots with one hammer. But before we start making the mechanism, we have to start making the barrels. So that was the reason why I built the uh, uh, wooden reamer, uh, the wooden rifling bench. Now I can use my wooden reaming machine uh, reamer, reaming stand again i already put a barrel on it's fixed with wedges and i started already with a reaming the caliber of the gun shall be 50 caliber so i will show you the single features of this reaming, ba uh, reaming bench. So here you can see the barrel fixation. I have some steel loops where I can fix the barrel with wedges. And at the bottom we have a dovetail slider with a lot of play. The reason for the big play is that the barrel can find its center uh, by itself. If you have too much, uh, if it's too strict, I tried it before, then the barrel won't find um, the center or the reamer won't find the center easily and try to go away. And that makes it very difficult. You can see the hook where a chain is connected This chain goes through to the wheel and on the bottom the chain will be connected to a weight. In the rear we have the hand wheel for turning the reamer. The reamer simply is fixed um, with uh, with a M10 uh, yeah M10 screw. The reamer itself it's an industrial reamer just welded to the rod that works pretty well. I grind it down the reamer so I can make a bore of about twelve point seven. 
that should be okay for a 50 caliber and then making the groves and I already made the first few centimeters so now I can show you the operation So, first is So like you can see, the reaming process is very, very slow. 
that will take several hours to make one grow but then it should be good I made of several barrels or several reamed barrels like that as uh, smooth barrels and they are absolutely accurate there is nearly no adjustment when you make the sides completely straight it's perfect here you can see I marked a chain link and on the beginning of this chain link that's my master mark and with every round or with uh, every step before the next cleaning I can make something about the length of one chain link so it's about 10 12 millimeters before i have to clean the reamer again otherwise when i try to make too much the reamer starts stucking and the chips getting too big so the quality uh, surface quality of the bore is not like i want it so better making more steps and clean the reamer much more often so um, I found out that for this reamer the step that will work the best is about 10 to 12 millimeters in one row and then take it off and clean it again so this will be a job of many hours I think so Let's do it once more.